<sighs> well, considering that everything that happened last week, in, well, in last week's episode, in episode 114, I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to like this episode or not, because uh, power scaling, what we saw at the end of last week's episode, fusion, Kale Khalifa, fusion, fucking her being faster and somehow stronger than Super Saiyan God Goku. I mean, like, stronger than Super Saiyan God Goku, maybe that makes a lot more sense than Super Saiyan Blue, definitely, but... I, I don't know. I, I was just, I was just still iffy on the episode, but I will say I, I, I liked it a lot more than I expected I was going to. I really did. I went into it being like, okay, well, they're gonna have to address something about the rules of Patara, right? And yeah, they do that. They, uh, there's Beerus. He's saying he's furious, right? He's pissed off that you know Champa had set up this plan to make Khalifa and Kale fuse if needed to be that they needed to fuse for whatever reason, right? It was just like a, a last ditch effort for whatever reason that would have that would have happened, right? So Champa is arguing with Beerus and then Zeno, you know, is watching the Terminal of Power. That's the reason why this Terminal of Power is happening in the first place. And of course, because Zeno is basically like a little fucking kid and wants to see a lot of cool action stuff and all that. Zeno was very excited. Uh, he was very excited to see Khalifa and Kale or Kale Fla fusion, Potara fusion, and the Grand Priest or the Dai Shinkan allowed it. He allowed the fusion of the Potara fusion of Khalifa and Kale. And I was like, really? Like you're gonna you're gonna allow fusion in the term of the power? And then. <sighs> The, the main reason why I just didn't want to see fusion in the Terminator Power is because power scaling, other universes could possibly take advantage of it as well. Yada yada yada. It's just I I eh. so yeah. It, it's just like like the the episode even like addresses the fact that other universes could possibly take advantage of it. Like after the Dai Shinkan allowed fusion to you know kind of be allowed in the tournament, right? The Beerus is like, yeah, I'm going to take advantage of this and have Goku fuse with possibly Vegeta, right? And so other universes were taking advantage of it too. Uh, like, uh, Universe 2? Yeah, Universe 2. Uh, just, just some of them actually were like, nah, we don't need it. There's no way we need it. Nah, I'm, I don't, I don't, I, 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 I'm pretty confident in my universe. We can do it. And I'm just like, no. Cause you suck but whatever <laughs> so one universe universe 2 gets their fucking botaras broken like almost immediately uh we get a couple of other shots of other fighters you know obviously fighting so we get a lot more action than last week with topo and vegeta which i still wanted to see more but at least we got a little bit more than than last week which you know we could all be a little bit happy about at least and then we got a little bit more of the uh, the scenes with the Universe 6 Namekians, whose names I can't remember at the moment, and Gohan and Piccolo, you know? So we got to see a little bit more of the Universe 6 Namekians and a little bit more of Vegeta and Topo. And both were very interesting and yeah, it was just fun to watch, you know? And then obviously we went back, we see Khalifa or uh, Kaofla fight Goku, he's in Super Saiyan God, uh, or Super Saiyan Red, the God form, you know, uh, so, obviously Super Saiyan God just isn't doing it, you know, it's just not doing it against, you know, base form Kalefla, so, uh, Goku decides to go Super Saiyan Blue after Kalefla shot, uh, shoots a key blast towards Goku. Right, and so he he is immediately tra he immediately transforms into Super Saiyan Blue. Uh, just it had to be done, you know. And people were like, "Oh, well, this is just kind of crazy." Like the fact that Goku is in Super Saiyan Blue, even though he hasn't fully regenerated his or refilled his entire fucking stamina. Right, so it was like kind of confusing. And the thing about that is, is that also the the characters like Beerus 
and I think uh, possibly Krillin as well, are really surprised about, you know, why Goku is in his Super Saiyan Blue form, because Blue does take a lot more stamina and stuff like that. <clears throat> uh, I'm actually getting a little bit ahead of myself, because Goku does use... Uh, King Kai Fist or Kaioken along with Super Saiyan Blue, which drastically, you know, expanses, not expanses, it drains your stamina. Uh, and also before uh, we see any of that, we finally get to see Kaleful go into Super Saiyan, or her version of the Super Saiyan form in her fusion. So that was cool, I guess. So we get a lot more fighting, stuff happens, uh, Kaleful seems to be doing uh, just way better than Super Saiyan Blue Goku, but Super Saiyan Blue Goku, or just Goku, is holding his own, you know, he's holding his own against a Super Saiyan F Patara fusion, so it was kind of surprising to see that Goku's holding his own, especially because he is so low on stamina after his fight with Jiren. Uh, we go back to see some shots of Goku and Topo, uh, not Goku, Vegeta and Topo, uh, and then Vegeta senses that Goku was in Super Saiyan Blue form, but before he mentions anything about that, he fucking headbutts fucking Topo and then just throws him over his fucking back to get him off, and then he says what he says. Um, we get just obvious more fighting of Kaleful and Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Kaleful's talking about, you know, like, yeah, I'll surpass you, motherfucker, and I'm just like, yeah, but you kind of already have... But not really, because Super Saiyan Blue Goku was able to go toe to toe against you, and he was like extremely low on stamina. Uh, so yeah, Goku goes uh, Kaioken. Uh, Beerus notices the fact that he shouldn't be using it because it will put a strain on his body, and yeah, yeah, he probably shouldn't be using it. And then Whis is like, yeah, but this is a Super Saiyan Patara of Kale and Khalifa. So what are you gonna do? He just he didn't know what else to fucking do. So, uh, he actually charges uh, over at Kaelfa, uh, hits her right in her fucking stomach, and rocks her. Like, she's on the ground after just that one punch from Goku. And uh, it just kind of shows that, like, he can hold his own. But then again, she might have kind of let her guard down. She might have been holding back, even though, even though they said that they were going to go all, all out stuff like that so Kaleful decides to pull a Goku and shoot off a couple of key blasts to Goku Goku deflects it with a Kamehameha and then Kaleful shows up right behind Goku and kicks him right in his fucking face like literally just rocked him in his fucking face and he's thrown back right he's on the ground we get a shot of Goku in, a, in Super Saiyan Blue and then he reverts back to base form and like that that's like the whole big thing of the reason why the episode was like go for this is Kaleflo, super saiyan blue defeated and it's like yeah you can say that he technically got defeated but from what we see from the rest of the episode um Kaleflo's like yeah i would like to fight you more but it's a match it's a tournament the tournament so i gotta knock you off goku gets up He's like, yeah, but I'm not done yet. You can't fucking take me down. And then Goku's like, yeah, I'm going to get up. I'm not done yet, motherfucker. You you haven't knocked me out yet. Uh, stuff happens. I forget what happens. I apologize. And then we hear it. We hear the score from the fucking Goku versus Jiren fight. The violins, motherfucker. The song that's like my favorite track so far that I've heard in the last couple of weeks. Oh, it was so good. And you know what it means when we hear this fucking, uh, this soundtrack, it means that Goku went into Ultra Instinct. Goku went into Ultra Instinct since the Goku vs. Jiren fight in episode 110? I, I don't know why I'm forgetting, in episode 110. So, yeah, it, it really caught me off guard because Last week I was like so pissed because Khalifa and Kale fucking fused and stuff like that. And then in the previews last week, uh, she was in Super Saiyan and holding her own against Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And then the title of, of the episode pissed me off. And then we get this. And then the whole, my whole opinion on this episode immediately changed after I saw Goku go Ultra Instinct. And he just fucking deflected all, like, six key blasts that were thrown at him. And then dodged, like, six more. 
and I was like, oh, okay, okay, maybe this episode was a lot more fun than I expected. Not just because of this, but everything else that happened was also really fun, really fun too, really fun to watch. And then he opens the eyes, he opens the eyes, and they're silver. I'm like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. But I do want to say that I am really surprised that we got to see Ultra Instinct so so early since since episode 110 like we saw it in episode 110 and then we got to see it five episodes later so what it seems to be happening when goku goes ultra instinct is either he's about to die or he's about to get knocked out from the lack of just energy in his body and then it causes his body to break through the shell and then go into ultra instinct and obviously ultra instinct what it allows you to do is to basically just your body just moves on its own it moves without your body moves without thinking right so we get the soundtrack we get the score it was amazing Kale was like holy shit i had to fight this motherfucker uh and then the episode just ends it ends off with a really cool shot at the a really cool fucking art style of the two characters one uh, one of them being ultra instant goku and then the other being fucking super saiyan kale uh kale flow so it was really cool i'm probably gonna use that for my thumbnail actually i'm gonna take a screenshot of that now just before i forget so it looked really cool uh i'm really excited for what we're gonna be seeing in uh in next week's episode uh i forgot to mention that jiren did kind of like react to the fight of kale uh kale flow versus goku and i think he was more so reacting to the fact that goku what goku was doing because Obviously, he's like in Super Saiyan Blue, and then he goes Kaioken and stuff like that. I think it was more so just the fact that he's kind of reacting to Goku because it's almost like he's recreating the events of what happened when he went Ultra Instinct for the first time. So, very interesting, but I don't know. But that's the end of the episode. Uh, the animation wasn't, you know, it wasn't exactly the same as last week's episode. Last week's episode's animation was fantastic. It was absolutely fantastic i mean it sucks that we can't get excuse me it sucks that we can't get dragon ball super to look that good every single week but regardless the episode still had uh decent to really good animation for you know it being the episode that goku goes ultra instinct again uh it's, it's not like on par as it was with last week but it's still really good uh choreography was really good of course uh, just the score. We get to see uh, a lot of soundtracks from the Goku vs. Jiren fight. Ultra Inks the Goku vs. Jiren fight. So um, that, that was cool to listen to. So the episode was super good. Uh, go watch it. It's super fun to watch. Uh, I went into it just thinking that it was just going to be like, oh, Goku is going to get eliminated because reasons. And then it's like, no, it was actually a lot better than I expected. So go watch it. Just Go ahead, uh, Crunchyroll link will be down in the description if you do want to watch it. And also if you want to go catch up on Dragon Ball Super, of course, uh, there will also be a link down in the description for Boruto if you do want to catch up on Boruto for some reason, uh, if you haven't yet. So anyways, that's the end of the video. That's the end of the episode, of course, if that's the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, be sure to drop a like on the video if you did. Uh, subscribe for future content just like this. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'm out.